In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your iTunes music files into MP3s. The first thing you're going to need to do is download and install RealPlayer. Once you've downloaded and installed RealPlayer, insert a CD into your music burner. Once you see the autoplay window pop up, which some of you may not, just close it. Then open up iTunes. Once you open iTunes, iTunes will recognize you've just inserted a blank CD or DVD. It'll ask you what you want to do. Just ignore this as well. It's going to try to access the store now. But we don't need the store. We need to look at our music. Decide what we want to burn down and turn into an mp3. Now I want to create a new playlist. I'm just going to name it something funny. I named it mp3 as you can tell. Now I want to go back to my music. Figure out what I want to turn into mp3s now. Just drag an mp3 track to the new playlist you've just made. Drag as many as you'd like. After you've added the tracks that you'd like to burn down to turn into mp3s, select your playlist. This shows you a window of the files you've just added to your playlist. You can see all the files here. Next, we want to burn this playlist down to disk. Go to File menu, Burn Playlist to Disk. This will burn the entire playlist down to disk. Once you've chosen to burn the playlist to disk, a burn settings window will appear. Just choose Audio CD for your disk format. Include CD text. Next, click Burn. It'll take a few minutes, but iTunes will burn the entire playlist down to your CD. I'll skip ahead now. Okay, the disc has finished burning. Now we can close iTunes. First, we want to eject the disc. Once the disc is ejected, just close iTunes. Now, we want to go ahead and reinsert the disc and wait for the autoplay feature to pop up one more time. What we're going to do is play or save music from audio CD using RealPlayer. The tracks on this CD have not been saved to the library. Would you like RealPlayer to save these tracks now? You want to choose yes. Unfortunately, RealPlayer couldn't retrieve the artist or album information for each track. This is pretty typical when burning down from iTunes. It just means you're going to have to go back later, listen to each track, and give each one of them a name. By default, unless you change it, RealPlayer is saving these tracks in your My Music folder in an untitled folder. Once RealPlayer is finished saving the music tracks to your library, you'll be able to locate the folder in My Music and it'll be untitled with today's date. There is all the files we just ripped from that CD. Opening the folder will show you the files we just ripped from the CD and you can actually right click and see that these are mp3 files. mp3 audio. Now you can share these uh, music tracks with your other devices. If you're watching this video from the blog post itself, you'll be able to see that the instructions included in this video are also included in the blog post in text format. This allows you to be able to follow the directions step by step whether following it by video or by blog. Thanks for watching I appreciate it.